<laughs> the first observance of Kamehameha Day took place on June 11, 1872. Lat Kapuaiva, Kamehameha V proclaimed by royal decree that the 11th day in June would be celebrated to honor his grandfather, Kamehameha I, also known as Kamehameha the Great, founder of the Hawaii Kingdom. Kamehameha Ekahi became one of the most revered monarchies of ancient times uniting all eight islands under one rule through war and diplomacy. Kalani paea wohi o kalei kini keali i kui kamehameha o iolani i kaivi kapu kaui kaliholiho kunuya kea was said to be born in November 1758 in Kohala. A prophecy said that a bright light would signal the birth of a great chief and conqueror. It was said that during this time a bright comet, known as Haley's Comet, shined across the Hawaiian skies at the time of his birth. Because of the prophecies and threats against warring chiefs, Kamehameha was taken and hidden away right after his birth. He was secluded in Waipio and returned to Kailua when he was five. He was raised in the courts of Alapa'i Nui and later Kalani Opu'u, the Ali'i Nui, ruling chiefs of the island of Hawaii. Kamehameha became a skilled and fierce warrior and intelligent leader. Another legend told was that whoever could move the Naha Stone would rule the Hawaiian Islands. The Naha Stone weighed between six and 7,000 pounds. It was said that the Naha Stone possessed mana, and whoever could move or overturn the stone would rule the land. Kamehameha was said to have moved it when he was 14, adding to the prophecy that he would one day be a great ruler. The Naha Stone can be seen today in front of the Hilo Library on Hawaii Island. Ke Kanavai Ma Malahoi, the law of the splintered paddle, was amongst one of Kamehameha's greatest accomplishments as a servant leader. This law was made because as Kamehameha grew to be an aggressive young chief, he decided to attack an innocent fishing village in Puna, Hawaii. When his foot became caught in a lava crevice, a fisherman struck him over the head with a paddle, nearly killing him. The paddle splintered. Later recognizing his fault in the attack on the innocent, the compassionate Kamehameha proclaimed the law of the splintered paddle, which proclaims that all innocent people, especially the elderly and youth, be able to sleep safely on the side of the road unharmed. The law provided for the safety of non-warriors during wartime and was enacted in 1782 before he unified the Hawaiian Islands, which saved thousands of lives. E nā kanaka, e mālama o ko i ke akua, a e mālama hoi i kanaka nui, a me kanaka iki. E hele ka elemukule, ka luahine, a me ke kama. A moe ki ala. A ohe mea nana e ho pilikia, hevano make. O oh my people, honor thy gods, respect alike the rights of men, great and humble. See to it that our aged, our women, and our children lie down to sleep by the roadside, without fear of harm, disobey and die. In later years, Kamehameha focused on governing his kingdom. He appointed governors for each island, made laws for the protection of all, planted kalo or taro, built houses and irrigation ditches, restored heyo, encouraged industry such as farming and fishing amongst his people, managed natural resources such as sandalwood, and traded shrewdly with the foreigners that followed Cook. Kamehameha I died in 1819 and was buried secretly by trusted companions as befits a high chief and was greatly mourned by his people. Oh, <laughs> I ke kalapo ko a kalani ha avi vale mai o kahi kili wa lilo ya kalani nui ke kui a po i vai ke kapu ana pu vela makahunua me. 
Inoa, inoa, no kala ni kameha meha kapuali. Ie inoa, inoa no kameha meha. Mahalo nui for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Away.